my name is Alex, I'm a patchwork nerd, and at the time that this video is released, it will officially be my birthday. So I'm going to exclaim, it's my birthday! <laughs> I asked you guys over on my Twitter account about what I should talk about for my birthday because it happens to fall on the day that I release a video, so it just makes sense to put the two together. And to celebrate the occasion, of course, I'm wearing my bat dress because when you're a bat princess and it's your birthday, you wear a bat dress. That's just common sense. But when I asked you guys about it, I had the awesome Jessica N.A. Dodson chime in with some really good insight and she said, Birthdays are a good time for reflection, to look back on your journey and how the winding road has changed over the years. But they're also a good time to look forward, to stare into the foggy future rife with hope and anticipation for all to come. That was really well put, first of all. Thank you, Jessica. And I think that is perfect. So for this lovely little video vlog, whatever you want to call it, I am going to be reflecting on my writing journey and where I've come and where I hope to go in the future. So let's go. If you've seen my five years of writer's block video, I will link that down below if you haven't. I've had kind of a rocky relationship with writing. I started writing when I was very young and I started creating stories and all that awesome stuff. But then when I hit like my late teens, early twenties, I had a really hard time with writing. Like I would be filled with anxiety when I would sit down to write because I put so much pressure on that. I had to make it perfect. I had to make it publishable. It had to be X, Y, and Z and all of these things. And I'm sorry, the lighting is just wacky. Clouds, they're fun. But I put so much pressure on myself that my writing had to be a certain way that I walked away from writing for a really long time. And it wasn't until I started being involved in the online writing community that I finally got back to writing. My current manuscript that I'm working on to market to market is the farthest I've gotten with a project in a really, really long time. I just finished up the second draft rewrites. I'm going to be adding a little more bulk to it for NaNoWriMo and then I'm also going to be starting revisions. I'm going to start making notes about big picture revisions that I'm going to be wanting to do and needing to do to make the manuscript function. It's just so surreal to think about how stuck I was only a handful of years ago to now where I just feel this passion and this energy. Not to say that I don't have bad days, trust me. I have gone weeks without writing. I have gone like a month without writing. I still don't have this perfect system and I don't think anyone ever truly does have a perfect system. Yeah, you might have a lot of energy and focus at some point or you might be really good at sticking to your routine, but that doesn't mean we don't all have bad days. So first of all, I want you to know what I wish I would have known a long time ago and that's don't feel guilty if you have a bad writing day. I would beat myself up if I sat at my computer and didn't know what to write or couldn't write or everything I wrote was really clunky and just not working and disjointed. I would be so mean to myself about that and I don't want you to do that. If you're having a bad day, understand that either you need to walk away from it and take a break or you might just need to reset your batteries and do some self-care or you're just gonna write some bad words that day and that's okay because you can always fix them later. Don't beat yourself up for any aspect of your process not fitting perfectly into whatever box you have conceived as being the perfect way to be a writer. There's no perfect way to be a writer. And for a lot of us, we've got life going on. We've got jobs, we've got families, we've got social obligations. And some of us introverts are like, but I just want to stay home and write. And some of you are extroverts and you need to get out and have those social experiences or else you're not going to function. We need to be kind to ourselves. At this point, my biggest goal with my platform is to encourage people and to just try to inject the positivity into writing that I wish I would have been able to find within myself. I wish I wouldn't have taken things so critically seriously when I was younger. Everything was life or death, make or break. It's either this story or no story. I was just constantly hard on myself about my experiences. I really wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would have just let myself have fun 
stop and smell the roses because when I was younger I never put pressure on my writing it wasn't until I hit about my teens when whew, hormones got a little bit funky and emotions got a little bit high and I had a lot of stuff to deal with but when I was younger writing was just this magical world that I could dive into whenever I wanted and it was mine it was my adventure to have I always try to remind myself that just because I'm an adult now and I'm turning Turning 28 years old today doesn't mean I can't still go on magical adventures. It doesn't mean I still can't have these amazing experiences just because I'm getting older. I know a lot of people put pressure on that, oh, I'm too old to be a writer, or oh, my time has passed, or I'm too young to be a writer also. Don't let your age influence what you can and can't do. Again, it comes down to not putting pressure on yourself that you have to fit into that box. Age doesn't create the box. I'm 28 years old. I thought I was going to be published by the time I was like 15. I was planning when I was younger to be a published author author and be that awesome teenage writer. I wanted that so badly and I think that led to a lot of the pressure that came when I was a teen because I thought I've got to get published before I'm an adult. That's what I've got to do. That's just silly. That is just really silly to think that way. And the same where if you're getting older, like I'm 28, I'm almost 30. I'm hearing funky yard work noises from all directions from my neighbors so sorry about that. The other thing I'm so grateful for is that I took a chance with joining the online writing community and that I despite my shyness let myself have the experiences that I never thought I would have. I talked about this in my writing retreat video when I went on the Wanderers writer retreat. I, I was terrified. I'm a hobbit. I don't leave the shire and I finally stepped out of my comfort zone and I tried new experiences and I'm so grateful that I did and I'm so grateful that so many people have reached out to share their experiences with me. I'm also glad that I'm learning to be less afraid and I'm learning to let myself be happy and let myself step out if I want to step out. And the sun is my enemy today. Hi sun, good to see you. Except I shouldn't look at you because then I'll burn my corneas, but there's a curtain, it's fine. <laughs> so that's my reflection on the past, and now I want to talk to you guys about where I hope to go in the future. Obviously, I'm wanting to get traditionally published. I want to finish my manuscript, I want to query it, I want to send it out to agents and get it published and all that wonderful stuff. I really want that to happen. I'm going to try my hardest to let myself keep going forward and I know that seems like something that should be simple to do. I'm usually my own worst critic and my own worst enemy with these kind of things and I just need to trust myself that I'm going down the correct path, I'm going down a good road, and it's okay for me to go down this road. I'm really excited to see where I'm going to be at this time next year. I can tell you for sure that in no way did I imagine my YouTube channel getting this uh, active. I mean, I'm up to, what, 1,500 subscribers now? And I'm actually going to be releasing my thousand subscriber Q&A video that I filmed like a month ago pretty soon here. It just kept getting pushed off because I was doing NaNoWriMo prep content. That's interesting to think that I'm at like 1500 now at the time that I'm filming this video. That's insane. I, I really thought if I get 100 people to like my YouTube channel, that's awesome. For some reason, 400 also really stuck out in my head. Like getting 400 people was a really big deal to me and then I still can't comprehend it. I'm so grateful and so thankful for that. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that this many people want to come on my journey with me and listen to what I have to say and put up with my dorkiness. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing a bat dress and a Ouija board necklace for goodness sakes. I'm quirky and yet you guys decided to hang out with me. That means the world to me and everyone who comes and hangs out with Writer's Patch, my chat that I host on Twitter, and all of the friends that I've made who are author tubers or writers or content creators. It's just, I'm just so happy and thankful. I'm really looking at all of these amazing things that have happened over this last year. I'm 28 years old and I have all of these amazing things that have happened. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you, for each and every experience that I've had. I just feel completely loved and blessed. I can't wait to see what happens over this next year. And I hope you guys will join me for that adventure. I want to thank you so much for listening to this ramble and I would love to hear about your journey as a writer. I'd love to hear your reflection of 
where you were in the past and where you hope to be in the future so leave that in a comment down below and if you're new to my channel possibly consider hitting that happy little subscribe button and I post new videos every Monday also join me every Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time over on Twitter for writers patch and I am getting emotional so I am going to finish up this outro quickly and um, yeah <laughs> as always remember keep writing keep laughing and most importantly keep encouraging each other you guys have made this one heck of a year and I can't wait to see what the future brings. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Toodles.